Hey Glam Girls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ty So Glam. Well, I'm not really so glam right now. I look crazy, scary, I know, trust me. But I'm a zombie and I was inspired to do this look because I love how bloody it looks. And this is my first time doing any kind of look like this actually. Anything to do with, with blood, scars, this is my first time. And I wanted to get this on camera for you guys. I was nervous in the beginning but I had fun while I was doing this because I was just amazed by how well it was coming along and I know you if I could do it you guys can definitely do it so I think you guys could try this out for your Halloween look please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below for more videos and suggestions if you guys want to know how to achieve this look for Halloween please keep on watching and I'll see you all in my next video so hey guys, let's get started on this special effect makeup look. I'm going to do my brows. I know this is a zombie look. Um, it's not supposed to be pretty, but come on guys. We got to get some brows done. Like, I can't look all cray cray without no brows. <laughs> You know when you do eyebrows and like one comes out better than the other? That's what's going on right now. Like, <sighs> this brows I like. This brows I hate. But whatever. We're moving on to the next step, guys. We don't have all day for our brows because it's really not about our brows, it's about our zombie look. I'm going to use just any foundation that goes with my skin color. I'm using Revlon Colorstay Cap Cappuccino as the color. Um, I'm going to put that all over my face. Actually, you should put the... I'm supposed to put the... Oh, shit. The fuck? You're not supposed to put foundation? Well, I am, but I just... I just feel like I should do the stuff first. Yeah. You know? But then I put foundation all over my face, you know what I'm saying, after that. So, we're going to hold off on the foundation. Actually, guys, I haven't done this before. I'm trying to do this in front of you guys for the first time. So, bear with me. I don't know what I'm doing. I watch, like, millions of videos, of, like, about special effects and stuff. But, there's nothing like trying it your damn self. Because, <laughs> you're going to start looking cray-cray. So, I going to use foundation first, but... I actually want to like start building up my scars and stuff first and building up my scars we use with latex guys I got it from party city I don't know why they use these but I saw it on other youtubers and they use it to make the tissue stick on and it works so we're gonna try this out I'm gonna use it <laughs> using tissue paper so to put this on, you have to use a brush that you don't give a shit about. Like this brush, I don't even know where it came from. It's probably cheap as hell. So don't use any of your expensive brushes or any type of brush you care about. Don't do it. Do not do it. Don't. This, I want like scars all around like right here. A big line going across right there. So we're going to start. Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Okay. Ew, it smells. Oh my god. Ooh, the ooh. The alcohol on this. I don't know how people do this. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna. Use tissue. 
It doesn't have to be neat or anything. It's supposed to be messy. That's the whole point. The messier, the more disgusting your face looks. So now, we're gonna let this dry before we start doing anything else. And since that's drying, might as well move on to the next scar. We're still gonna layer this some more because I want it to be very thick, disgusting looking. So we're gonna like um, layer this, but we're gonna wait till it dries. I want a big scar going across my forehead. I don't know why, I just think it'll look cool. And then I, I, want, I want it to have like a very deep cut. So we're gonna go ahead and do like a line right here. Okay. Now to let this step move very fast, we're gonna use a blow dryer. I simply press the cool button because you want it to be cold air. Okay, now that it's dry, well, semi-dry, it just has a little bit of that sticky feeling, I don't know. We're going to try to make some marks. You guys got to be very careful. It really doesn't have to be perfect. Just gotta tear it. Make it look a bit more messy. Oh, I should have added a bit more tissue to make it a bit thicker. I think this is okay. Try right here. I'm gonna open that up. It's gonna open that up. We're done opening our scars up. Use regular foundation that you use on a normal basis. And I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay and the color cappuccino. I'm gonna do my eyes. I want like messed up smoky black eyes I'm gonna look like I've been crying so I'm gonna use fantasy makers by wet and wild it's the painters palette I'm gonna use this black one right here as a base
I'm getting the corners just to make it look like my socket is synced in. I'm gonna put it underneath our eyes too, all around our bag. And the same thing. I'm gonna use the Naked Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And my black is almost gone, but we're gonna use what we have because I don't have time looking for another black eyeshadow right now. So I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna use that to set all where we put the black paint. Just to soften like the blackness around my eyes because it doesn't look really reasonable. We don't want to look like a raccoon. So I'm gonna go in with the brown. I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. I look like we've been crying. Our eyeliner and eye makeup just got smushed. We gotta make this scar look realistic. Like we gotta make it look as realistic as possible. So since I my dumb butt forgot to buy the palette that has the red blood, like the paint. We gotta do what we gotta do. And I have to record this video today because <laughs> I'm in the mood, I'm in the spirit. I have a different alternative, which is this is a kind of like a maroon um lip color it's not too red it's just like a perfect burgundy shade just go all around your face there's any kind of strokes it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to look bruised up that's enough of the red we're gonna go ahead and Add some black around it just to make it look even more dramatic. We're just going to use the black to outline our scars. So now that we got our scars done, I'm still looking too fleshy, so I'm going to use the same black eyeshadow. I'm just going to do that right there. Make my face look something. So I put in my contacts. The best contact to use, guys, is white contacts. I didn't order them online. I was just lucky enough to find them at my local beauty supply store. Trust me. I had no time to, like, order my contacts because it was going to take, like, six business days to ship and then Halloween would have been over and I won't be able to film this look for you guys. So trust me, I went through hell just to get these contacts. So... And I'm glad I did because it makes this look look even better. The final step is the best step, which is blood. I also got this from Party City. How convenient, right? 